This is problem number four for section 3.1. In this problem it says find the slope of the graph of the function g of x equals 7x over x plus 4 at 3 comma 3. Then find an equation for the line tangent to the graph at that point. So what they want us to do is they want us to find the slope first. Once we find the slope, write the equation for the tangent line that touches this function at 3 comma 3. So let's start by finding the slope expression. this function. We know we find that slope expression by doing uh, limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So we're going to start by taking x plus h, plugging it into the function, and then plugging x into that function. And if, where our goal is to cancel out this h because when we take the limit right now we plug 0 in and we divide by 0 and uh, that, that's undefined so we need to cancel that h out, that's our goal. Let's start by saying 7 times x plus h over x plus h plus 4 minus f of x which is just 7 x over x plus 4, and that's over h. I'm just going to put ditto here for the limit as h approaches 0. Let's find a common denominator here. Now, this has x plus h plus 4 in it. This has x plus 4 in it. We need to multiply this uh, left fraction by x plus 4 over x plus 4, and this right one by x plus h plus 4 uh, over x plus h plus 4. So we're going to say x plus 4 over x plus 4. We're going to multiply that by 7. I'm going to distribute up here. Um, I know you don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So that's 7x plus 7h over, this will be x plus h plus 4 in the bottom, minus 7x over x plus 4. And we're going to multiply this by x plus h plus 4 over x plus h plus 4. All right. When we do this multiplication, remember this is a binomial times another binomial. So we're going to end up with x times 7x, which is 7x squared. x times uh, 7h, that's 7xh. 4 times 7x is 28x, and 4 times 7h is 28h. And when we multiply this side, remember we have 3 terms times this term. So we, this is all over x plus 4, x plus h plus 4. Minus, on top when we distribute, we end up with 7x squared plus 7xh plus 28x. And that's all over x plus 4 x plus h plus 4. I did forget one thing in this other step. I should have had this all divided by h, and this should all be divided by h, because remember our goal is to cancel that h out. Let's distribute on top. So when we distribute on top, we end up with 7x squared plus 7xh plus 28x. We can combine these together, so it's plus 28 h, and then we take the negative, we get negative 7x squared minus 7xh minus 28x. We distribute that negative to each term. This is all over one denominator now, which was x plus 4, x plus h plus 4. So we combine the two fractions together and distribute that negative. And this is over h. At this point, I think it makes sense to 
essentially combine this H with this denominator here. I have a fraction over another fraction technically. I'm gonna multiply this one by one over H and divide it by one over H. So this is actually just multiplying the whole thing by one. Essentially you think about flipping and multiplying the top when you divide two fractions or combining the denominators together or you can think about it this way. You'll see H over one cancels with the one over H and essentially the denominators just get combined together. So we're gonna say equals, this is seven x squared plus seven x h plus 28 x plus 28 h minus seven x squared minus seven x h minus 28 x and that's all over When we do this, I'm gonna end up with h, x plus four, x plus h plus four. And don't forget we have limit that's out front. Limit as h approaches zero. So this is gonna equal the limit as h approaches zero. I can cancel out this seven x squared with this, or this negative seven x squared with this positive seven x squared. 7xh and negative 7xh cancel, 28x and negative 28x cancel. So I'm left with 28h on top over h x plus four, x plus h plus four. And then we're going to go ahead and say the H's are going to cancel, and that's limit as H approaches zero for 28 over X plus four, X plus H plus four. Which when we plug in zero, we end up with 28 over X plus four, X plus four when you plug in the zero for H, which is 28 over x plus four squared. So this is our expression for the slope at any point on this line right here, on that function right there. Now we wanna find the slope at three comma three. So I'm gonna take this and say that that is equal to, let's plug in three for x and I get 28 over three plus four squared, which is 28 over, this is seven squared, which is 49. And I can divide them both by seven. So I end up with four over seven for a slope. So that's the first part is finding that slope at three, three. Now I wanna find the tangent line. So I take this, plug it into slope intercept form. And now I'm gonna plug in the coordinate three, three. So I get three equals four sevenths times three plus B. Three equals, this will be 12 over seven plus B, I'm gonna subtract the 12 over, 12 over seven over, and this will be 21 over seven when I find a common denominator for that one, minus 12 over seven equals B, which is nine over seven. So my tangent line is going to be, let's write it right here, Y equals four sevenths X, plus nine over seven. And that's the tangent line to this curve at this point.